and hello gamers and welcome to Daytona Rush. Um, next month I believe is when NASCAR starts with Daytona 500. So of course we have our first inspired NASCAR type game. Hopefully maybe we get more uh, room this year that maybe will be on the tablet devices or your phone. Because I'm sure they, somebody could make a very good NASCAR type game. But anyway back to Daytona Rush. Now, this is an endly, endless uh, racing game, Strick Rare. And the idea is simple, the longer you keep going, the more cash you make. And cash, of course, is made by passing the cars in front of you, as you can see. Uh, to the left is my fuel gauge. Now, this uh, constantly is running down, and I have to make sure every time I do a lap that I have to refuel, otherwise, I will run out of fuel uh, before I get round to the next lap and point me there as I'm just crashing into too many cars there. Whoops, Daisy. Oh, it's uh, crashed. Sometimes you are fine with this game and um, it does happen from time to time. It will be a little bit glitchy, I'm afraid, and uh, don't know why that is, but uh, sometimes I say it will happen and you, you will see it sometimes it will glitch occasionally. It doesn't happen very often, uh, but it's it's uh, all the same. Anyway, as I was just saying, yes, the green uh, bar on the left hand side is my fuel, and the pink bar on the right hand side is how much damage I can take. Well, basically, how many more cars that I can run into, really. And of course, down the bottom left is how long I've been how many yards I've been racing for, and the right, of course, is how much money I have picked up so far. Every time we do a lap, that uh, bonus increases by one. So, present member, we are one X, and I was here two X. And so the coins help you towards boosting your uh, your racing car, or or uh, you can also buy other cars as well. Um, we have the uh, NASCAR Truck Series, uh, we have the Kart Series as well, which is basically F1, and we have also one of the NASCAR, which has the uh, f what I call the air brake on the back of it. And I so say that that's it really with the Tony Rush. It is literally all about using reflexes and making sure you can just keep following the cars as uh, as long as you can. You gotta admit about the Tony Rush, it is nice to look at and also the draw rate on the game as well is pretty impressive. If you look all the way up to top of the screen, uh, yes that has how good the frame the draw rate is you can see that far ahead even though it doesn't really help you much because you're trying to look near to the bottom of the screen to see where your car is and compare it to the others. Something else you also got to take uh, note of is when you are um, racing, you got to also stop string as much as you can. This way, you can save even more fuel so you can make it around to the next lap. Because sometimes, if you're not careful, you can actually run out of fuel before you make the next uh, um, pit stop. So it's all about uh, trying to stop string as close as you can, but not getting too much close so that you're not coming off the circuit. And there we go, just uh, zip in there and fill up the petrol once again. Or as they call it, gas in America, I think. Whoops! Oh dear. Uh, crash over there. There's only one car you can knock over. You use the drunken driver, as it's called in the game. You can see him by the wobble that he does. And I think there's one coming up soon, actually. I've, no, it doesn't. Not yet. You can see him when he comes up. He's the only one you can actually hit legally. Now, it's just a strange thing, really, when you say you can actually hit one legally and not get away, and not get damaged. But that's how the game plays, really. So, as you say, uh, um, as you progress, of course, you can tell now they're getting lots more traffic on the circuit. And... Uh, you know, have to really start to flex your reflexes there to make sure you can dive uh, left and right. And it is responsive, but I said just occasionally you will get occasional glitch. Whoops, again, overstayed my uh, area. I'm not doing too bad on lap 5. Whoops, uh, as I say, sometimes, you, oh dear, uh, yes, you do tend to get the games just glitch there. It uh, um, doesn't quite respond. Or is it just kind of breaks your freezes? One thing I found that I had to disable my Wi Fi connection though when I was playing this because it would not load in, it would uh, freeze on the uh, oh dear, I've just completely crashed, it would freeze on the game center. So I'm having to disable it so I can play the game. And um, so that's something else which may be a problem, which hopefully will be shortly fixed in maybe in, in the next uh, update if there's going to be one, which I'm sure there will be. But let's say that is Detona Rush. Out when you, out when you see this video, um, in all available iTunes stores. I'd say it's a good game, um, and I'm sure you enjoy it too if you do this kind of thing. Okay. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now.